Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Greg Fenton from Zen Graphene Solutions. How are you today, Greg? I am doing fantastic, Tracy. Thank you for asking. Well, of course, you're going fantastic. I thought this news today was just simply disruptive. Disruptive. All right. So how about you start by telling us what that news is, because I'd like you to tell our audience how big this is. Thank you, Tracy. Yeah, I think we caught uh, most of our investors in the market by surprise with this news today. This is something we've been working on for over nine months. Uh, it's a technology that uh, McMaster University have been working on developing. It's disease uh, detection technology. This current iteration or form of the technology is in the detection of the COVID-19 virus. This specific test that was developed by our colleagues at, at McMaster, and we're absolutely thrilled and excited and quite honestly honored, humbled to be, uh, to have the ability to collaborate with this group. This is a saliva-based antigen test, meaning that you can detect the COVID virus in human saliva. Now there's been talk about some tests like that in the market, but they really haven't had the ability to detect low quantities of virus. And that's what this test does. So this is unique and it's a standalone product. I, and there's probably a lot of people out there that don't really understand how graphene actually is applied in this technology, but I want you just to pause on that question for a second and, and let, let me just get right into it here with you, Greg. This is a very big field. Everybody's trying to get into it. You got billion dollar pharmaceutical companies. What makes Zen Graphene so confident? And it says here that you have um, exclusive worldwide rights to commercialize rapid saliva-based COVID-19 antigen testing technology. So why don't you just answer that question if you can? It's a big one. Thanks, Tracy. I appreciate that. And, and yeah, this is something that we spent a lot of time uh, in our analysis when we were working with the folks at McMaster. It's a very crowded space right now, and there are a lot of tests that have come to market, but those tests are primarily PCR, or if you think of the, the nasal swab tests, um, this test is saliva-based. And the technology that Dr. Ying Fu Li, Dr. Leila Soleimani, and, and Dr. John Brennan have developed is uh, the ability to detect the virus in very low quantities in saliva, okay? Um, we go, we'll get into the details of the science uh, in, another, in another meeting, but this will allow rapid point of care. The test results are in, uh, uh, come back within under 10 minutes. They have roughly the same sensitivity as existing PCR tests, so those nasal swab tests. Um, I won't get into the, the, the details of the cycle counts, but they're very close on cycle counts and accuracy. So this is going to get not only uh, revolutionize the way that testing is done, but testing to date has focused on identifying sick people or people who've been around other sick people. This technology, because it's point of care, will allow markets and economies to open back up. So if you want to go to a baseball game or a football game or a restaurant or on a cruise ship, this technology will allow you to get onto that cruise ship and prove that you are COVID negative. So this will be a massive market going forward. Okay, so rapid testing, that's all fantastic. How fast can you get it to the market? Because I'm still recovering from my last uh, nasal test. <laughs> and that, is, again, ease of use is one of the big uh, selling features here. We should be able to get this to the market. I, I don't want to give a firm date because we're working on supply chains and there's approval processes that we have to go through. And that's a little bit out of our hands. But we would like to think that we will be in the market with this test in the fall of this year. And this is an extremely price competitive test as well. That was one thing that I left out. Uh, so we think we've got all the boxes ticked here. We've talked to many specialists and we even have talked to some government officials about this. And they said, if, if we have the goods, we will be best in class. So Greg, this, this news seems both compelling and exceedingly disruptive uh, from my humble perspective. It, to explain if I'm correct or not, but can you, will you be able to then test for anything? 
Absolutely, Tracy. And that's, I think, what we're most excited about. This platform that Dr. Lee and his team at McMaster have developed is really a disease detection technology. So this first test that we're commercializing is specific to COVID, but we can detect other diseases as well. Viruses, bacteria, potentially fungi. We've already been asked about sexually transmitted diseases, tuberculosis, HIV. Um, the, Dr. Lee and his team will put together uh, you know, the, the specific formula that they create to be able to detect the disease. We will put it onto a similar sensor and you know, we'll, we'll take a bodily fluid, run it across the sensor, and it should be able to detect almost any disease. So we've entered into a five-year collaboration with Dr. Lee and his team to work on the next COVID, the next big disease. And we're really, really excited about our long-term partnership. Dare I ask if you'll be able to do cancer detection, for instance? Excellent question. And the answer is yes. Dr. Lee has already started working on that. And that's one of the top priorities for us after we get co this COVID test to market. And excuse me for everyone out there in Investor Intel, of course, I'm smiling because the impact for all of our health and you know quality of living is just extraordinary. It's just mind crumbling. Okay, fantastic. Thank you so much, Greg, for joining us today. Thank you, Tracy.